Hello, this is Urkin Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. Let's make freeform. Here we go. We uh, arranged the intro in the last uh, tutorial, last lesson. Um, we need to add some effects like sweeps and crash symbols and things like that. We're going to be using those throughout the rest of the uh, arrangement process. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to create an audio lane called FX1. And I'm going to browse through my sample library. Uh, again, I'm using uh, the Vengeance Essential Club Sounds uh, 2. So, uh, let's see here. If you don't have it, uh, just grab whatever samples you happen to have of your own uh, you know, crash symbols and that sorts of thing. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is, is add a crash symbol. <laughs> Uh, and what I had settled on was uh, number nine. Straightforward symbol. Throw that in here right right in here. Boom. So let's... It's not bad as is. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and add some reverb to that. So let's, uh, let's do the long reverb. We'll give it a whirl, Let's see here. Gives a little bit more space. And a little bit of delay goes a long way on, uh, on a crash symbol. It's a good start. Uh, why don't we just call this crash? The crash symbol. Now, uh, one thing, as you, like when you zoom out and you've got these little tiny samples you're trying to move around, it's really annoying. It frustrates the crap out of me. So, uh, a little trick here you can do is grab, like, let's say at least two bars. I'm going to go with four on this one and hit uh, right click and do consolidate. What that's going to do is create a much bigger wave file here, and now it's, just, it's a lot easier to handle as you drag it around. Um, I like to make my effects pink. Uh, it just kind of gives me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why I chose these colors, to be honest. Um, so, one thing about that is it's kind of abrupt. I kind of like to have a, like a reverse symbol that kind of leads into it, but not necessarily the same sound. Uh, in this case, I chose a open hat number 20, and uh, that's better. It's actually got kind of a phasery sound built in, and uh, it's very easy to do in Ableton. You just take this out here, double click on it, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and hit warp on this and reverse. And uh, just pop it right over here. There we go. Now I am going to uh, turn the volume down a little bit on this guy so he's not quite so intrusive. Because it can uh, kind of steal some of the power away from the cymbal if it's, if it's too loud. Very cool. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do that consolidate trick again. Um, I'm going to leave these as separate clips so that they don't, uh, I don't know, it's just easier to handle later in my opinion. Um, all right, I'm going to add another one. Let's see, uh, insert audio track. And, uh, this one came from the trance sweeps. If I can find that. Um, special sounds? No. It ain't that special. FX. There we go. Train sweeps number two. All right, I thought it sounded pretty cool. Um, and I actually want this to kind of sweep up, so I'm going to place this here and reverse. Um, let's call this uh, synth sweep. Um, now I know for a fact that these are the wrong notes, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Uh, we could either do it by ear or could do the scientific method. I'm gonna show you the scientific method. So we'll grab our little spectrum here. Oh, 
Why is it... Uh... Okay. Anyway, you got a peek here at D. D. Well, the uh, the track is in the key of A minor, so D is, is probably not... Now, there is an A over here, but it looks like D is the fundamental. Um, so we're going to just jack this up. Um, I'm guessing about 8. Oh, I was close. Uh, I think that's A sharp. So let's take uh, 7. Mm, 7. All right. And again, let's add this reverb and uh, some delay. Let's see how it sounds all together. It's pretty good. I think the reverb is a little long, so we'll use the shorter version of it. And maybe just overall it's too loud, so I'm gonna drop it down. All right, that's two out of four. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add a, uh, I'm not really sure what this is anymore. Uh, I don't remember, so uh, it is uh, another uh, audio track. And it's VEC2 FX uh, 075, 075. Oh, okay. Just kind of a noise uh, sweep. Uh, but I'm going to make it a faller, faller instead of a riser. So again, uh, the good old reverb, probably a long reverb and, uh, and delay, sure. Okay. Way too loud. So let's drop that down, like maybe a whole 10 dB. Good, it's just kind of a subtle effect. You don't need a lot of it for a noise faller. And again, I'm gonna consolidate this so it's easier to handle later. How hard is that, really? I mean, that <laughs> should not take long at all. Consolidate. Come on. Oh, we got a tutorial to record here. So uh, let's give this the nice pinkish color. We'll just call this Noise Father. 